Hey guys, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for your support. Today I'm going to be talking about Reiner's Scheherazade, uh, the living stereo title that is one of my favorite living stereos of all time. Um, I have many copies of it and I'm going to tell you all about it and I'm going to tell you what my preference is for the best sounding edition of this recording. So stay tuned for that. Um, before I get started, if you're new and haven't already and you like audiophile content, think about subscribing. It'll help the channel out and you'll be notified whenever a new video is um, uploaded. So just hit subscribe and notification, hit like if you could. Uh, I'd appreciate that. And let's get on to the comparison. So the reason I'm doing this one is because I had kind of put off getting any of the analog productions uh, copies of um, living stereo titles. The reason being is that I had most of them. Um, I had most of them in originals and I have most of them in classic records editions. The ones that didn't appear on classic, I was really thinking of getting and finally I bit the bullet and I got three of them. And one of them, I, the two of them that I did get that I didn't have in classic record editions. I'll cover it another time. But the one that I decided to get based on all the reviews of it was Reiner Scheherazade. Um, I have like six copies of this already. So did I really need another copy? And are these analog productions versions superior to what came before? Well, I'll tell you what I found out in my evaluation. The first copy I have is an original pressing. I have two different ones. This was the superior one. And I forgot to write down the, oh, I wrote it on here. It's a 7S, 10S pressing, Shaded Dog. And I started out with that one. And granted, it's not in the best condition, but some of the notes I made, well, let me tell you one thing. I evaluated this the first time through with the side one. I played side one on all these different pressings. And the reason I did that instead of skipping to the exciting finale is there's a lot of things to consider when choosing the best Scheherazade. I, I found that the original always kind of suffered a little bit from Kind of a muddiness and congestion in climatic moments in the first side when a lot is going on and granted it could be my equipment not being able to resolve it but i've heard it on basically everything and it's something that you i just felt like okay i have to deal with this um because the rest of it is so good and what I found in the, in the first uh, Shaded Dog pressing, it did have some congestion in, in the climaxes on side one. Uh, a lack of clarity, sometimes grainy. The pluck string sounded great. The violin tone sounded great. Uh, triangle, the decay, very good. Climaxes lacked a little power. And that was sort of a no-go. I think, you know, it's a tube cut, obviously, a uh, tube cut record. And um, I attribute some of that muddiness maybe to the tube cut. Um, it also lends a wonderful quality to the strings. So it's a bit of a trade off. But the power for the time, it was great, but it's just not there for a modern day setup. So. I, maybe there's a better sounding original. Um, of the two that I had, this is a better, and they're both shaded dogs. Maybe, like HP once said, the, the white dog was his favorite. Um, sometimes Dynaflex pressings can be better too, but I think with this particular mastering, it just didn't do it for me. It sounded good, but 
it also is not in the greatest shape so that was part of the problem but overall hearing through whatever noise what was on the record those were the impressions i got from that the second one i chose to listen to and not many people have this or want this this is rca's stab at doing a half speed mastered audio file pressing they did a series of these there's not a lot of titles maybe eight or nine i think and this was one of them this is actually i think this is the second edition the first ones came with a die cut cover uh they're all pressed on teldec vinyl i think in germany um but they're half speed mastered and this one had more clarity, but oddly it had less presence. It sounded more distant and things like the brass sound was kind of pinched sounding. Things sounded a little unnatural, um, just not EQ'd right. And the power wasn't there either. So this one, the less that's said about it, the better, I suppose. Um, those, those pressings got trashed when they came out in the audiophile press um the pressings are clean and nice but the sound wasn't really up to nick so this is the chesky edition and this one is a tube cut it's from i think it's from the three track masters session tape so this was done in tubed equipment okay this one was kind of a revelation at the time a lot of people really thought it was superior to the shaded dogs or at least most of the shaded dogs um, i listened to it this time and it was immediate and clear uh violin sounded perfect it still had like a tube tubey glow to it you know um climaxes were cleaner the brass was more realistic um the bass was deeper so all in all it was a better listen um, I just felt like some of the mud was still there and even though they went to the three track to do this mix it still lacked what I was looking for in the ultimate Scheherazade so it's good but not the ultimate then I have the classic the classic I believe this was done on transistor equipment um if i'm not mistaken these were done by bernie grunman and um what did i write for this one very clear see into quality so you could it, it had a more sense of you could see into the sound stage um it seemed to have a wider sound stage and a deeper sound stage it was more dynamic for sure strings were uh, a touch less lush than the Chesky or the original. It was the best listening so far, and it had quite startling climaxes. Um, the climaxes should jolt you out of your seat <laughs> for this record. And I also have a 45 classic, which I paid a lot of money for on the aftermarket. It was one of the classics I didn't get at the time it was released. And I'm glad to have it, but I'm not going to include it in this comparison because it wouldn't be fair um, because the final one I'm going to talk about is a 33, and that's the Analog Productions 33 edition. Recent pressing 180 gram vinyl. I think the earlier ones were on 200 gram vinyl. Well, I think I found my favorite. <laughs> this, this, Wow, this had me very emotional by the end of the record. I just could not believe how much better this was than the originals, the Cheskies, the classics. This really sold, sold me on the Analog Productions RCA Living Stereo line. Everything is cleaner, but it's very natural sounding, much more natural than the classic. And much cleaner than the original the the bit of muddiness i found on the first side 
of all of these is, is cleaned up a bit here. It sounds cleaner. It's still there to a touch, but it's, it's much, much cleaner. And the string tone is very similar to the Shaded Dog. Very lush string tone. And particularly the solo violin, just gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. <laughs> like, breathtaking. And the dynamics are incredible. You know, the first side has some, some dynamic swells towards the end uh, of the first side. And those were rendered beautifully. Just gorgeous. And the best of all that I heard. The flip side is where the action is on this record, as I'm sure you probably know. Um, I listened to the fourth movement on all these, and it's always an astonishing thing, but on this Analog Productions pressing, I was nearly in tears. I was like, oh. this restored my faith in vinyl. I was like, this is amazing. Amazing. Even on my modest system, I was getting incredible dynamic crescendos on this. And it it was breathtaking. The last movement is breathtaking and beautiful. Actually, you know, all of side two is gorgeous. And it has so many different things to, to comment on. Uh, to do them all would be take forever. But just if you're in the market for a Scheherazade and you don't want to go 45. By the way, the AP, AP did a 45, it's out of print. Right now, this is the 80, 180 gram version. If you want a splendid, rest assured, best pressing of this classic, and everyone should have this classic in their collection, whether they're into classical or not. If they are into rock music, they're gonna love it because the last movement, is powerful and it's just a beautiful beautiful reading of this work i've heard many others and none can compare to the reading of this work reiner just reiner and the cso it's just a magic combination and more latent uh, you know the more latent team did this recording in orchestra hall and it really doesn't get any better than that RCA Living Stereo at its very best. And the I gotta say, the Analog Productions won my shootout. And I can highly recommend it. It's a thrill, an absolute thrill. And I don't think you'll hear it reproduced better, except maybe in the 45 from Analog Productions. Uh, and I don't have that one to tell you. So, but for my purposes, I like to hear the sweet, um, the movements as they are on the 33. I don't even think I'm gonna get the 45. I'm very, very happy with this. Thrilled, in fact. And I just, I'm just blown away that Analog Productions did such a good job on these. And you know, if you read the literature, he talks, uh, Chad talks about how, you know, they could have used the classic parts over again and there wasn't much reason not to. Very good, they were very good, but recutting these was, by Ryan Smith uh, was a great idea because he did a fabulous job and I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. So that's all I gotta tell you about Scheherazade. Um, if you don't have this, add it to your collection. You're gonna love it, love it. Thank you for tuning in today and thank you for your support. I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.